Well, as you can see here, my chrome pieces for the front end finally came in. Um, took almost five weeks, but he got it done. I've been working on uh, cleaning up the threads with a tap and die, because sometimes when they chrome them, the chemical makes this corrosion inside the threads. Uh, it just looks nasty and it's hard to get together. It's easier just to clean everything first before, uh, before you try to put it together. But uh, today, this week's going to be a busy week because uh, with this now, I, I can go ahead and put the front end back on, put the motor, the trans, I can put the body back on. Speaking of the body, I wanted to show you here. Uh, I finished the uh, dash. I had a video of me making the dash, but somehow or another, I deleted it. So here it is finished. And uh, also I straightened out the wiring, got all the fuses, the relays, everything done in here. So that was looking good. And also today, uh, I ordered a shifter. It came in today, a Hurst quarter stick uh, shifter. So I think when I, I'm gonna take the body off now to put the motor and trans in. When I put it back on, that's another thing I gotta do is get the cable lined up and get that mounted to the floor. And also this week I uh, had enough time, I finished polishing the Zoomy. So once I get the motor set in there, the body in there, and get it at the right height, ride height, I can go ahead and uh, get those laid out, tack welded, and get those on. So we got a lot to do this week. Uh, let's get busy. Well, I've been busy today. Uh, got the front end back on, got, uh, got it all squared up, the radius rods are all tightened down. Um, I just left the front loose so I can uh, adjust the angle once I get the motor and the body on, do the final adjustment on it. But everything else come out pretty good. I took the body off this morning, sitting over there, and uh, I'm getting ready to pick up the engine, put it back in, and uh, hopefully... Uh, Tomorrow I'll have the engine transmission and, and maybe the body back on it. So things are picking up pretty good. Well, this morning we're going to try to put the engine in. Um, it's a little tricky because uh, you can see back here my frame is hitting the shelf and I can't roll the frame back any further. And if you look right here, uh, I'm probably needed to go back about two more inches to get in front of these plates right here, which I'm going to try to push the motor forward with one hand and lower it with the other hand. Uh, try to film some of it so you can see it. Well, I got the motor in there. You can see here where the, uh, the mounting plates on the back. And then uh, I also got the front mounting plates right here. It's gonna be three bolts on each side holding that in. But this, 
Before I can uh, go any further, while I still got it hanging from the lift, I need to go ahead and change these dowel pins right here. Uh, those are the original dowel pins with the steel bell housing, and they're really short. Um, the new bell housing, let me see if I can run over here and show you quick. You see how thick the new bell housing is? So the old pins weren't even coming a quarter of an inch into this with the uh, quarter inch uh, mid-engine plate. So between the plate and this being so long, I had to make new dowel pins. So let me uh, real quick get the uh, dowel pins changed while it's still on the lift and then I'll get the transmission set up and I'll try to v video some of the putting the transmission and the torque converter in. Well, I changed this one over here, uh, dowel pin, and uh, this one here I'm getting ready to pull out, but I wanted to show you here the difference between the new pins and the factory pins, how short the factory ones are. Because again, I got to make up for this quarter inch thick mid plate plus that thick bell housing. Uh, using that one here, I would have only been less than a quarter of an inch into the bell housing. So let me get this side changed and then we'll work on the transmission. Well, things are going pretty good this morning. Uh, I got the motor bolted in. You can see I got the dowel pins changed uh, and I got the transmission ready. Uh, the only thing I gotta do is go get some transmission fluid. I wanna fill the torque converter before I uh, go ahead and stick this on there. Get it all bolted up. Hopefully this will be the last time. Uh, let me keep moving. Well, things are moving along pretty good today. I uh, managed to get the transmission in. You see here, I got the torque converter in. I put a quart of fluid in it. I had to put a couple shims on it, get it get it shimmed up a little bit. But uh, everything went fine so far. So it's all torqued down. And now that I got the motor in it, I rechecked my front end for the angle on the front axle. And I don't know if you can see here. Uh, 6.2 and that's what I had before I tore it apart with the old setup it had 6.2 degrees so I'm, I'm exactly right where I was with the old setup and it handled pretty good there I never had no wobble or bouncing or no issues with the steering so I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and tighten down the front end adjustments right there and we'll just try it and see how it goes from there Well, things went pretty good today. Uh, also got the uh, starter mounted and I got the uh, alternator mounted and I went ahead and mounted the uh, water pump. So it was a good day. And, and uh, oh, also I went ahead and measured the drive shaft. Tomorrow I'm going to run over to the drive shaft shop and get a drive shaft made for it. And now I've been working on the brackets for the shift cable for the transmission. Somewhere back here on the corner, I gotta mount that bracket, get around that steering box. But I'll, that'll be tomorrow's project. But everything's moving along. So, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.